big news for Macon County General Hospital. Officials recently announced that expansion is on the way for Macon County's only hospital. We welcome you to this milestone event for our hospital. Why are we doing this? Quick show of hands. Everybody here that's been treated in this facility, raise your hands. For our out of town guests, that is why we're doing this. We are a community hospital that takes care of our community. Last year, in our last fiscal year, we had 27,949 patient encounters. So today, we are excited to take that step with this groundbreaking ceremony for this long anticipated project. Now the what we are doing. Our current ER was remodeled in 1992 and expanded from two beds to six beds, 2,200 square feet. Only one of those beds is a private bed. So you know, we don't have a lot of privacy in there. When all our projects are complete, we will have all private rooms in our emergency department, a larger triage area for faster to treatment times, full telemedicine capabilities for physician specialty assessment here locally without having to send everybody out of town, a separate entrance for the ambulances, which will be different from the ambulance uh, entrance for the walk-ins, a private room for physicians and staff to meet with family members uh, and, and patients, uh, a chapel, two large cardiac trauma rooms, an isolation room, an OB exam room, four private exam treatment rooms, and a separate room for patients with behavioral health issues. All these rooms are private rooms. And we will be adding a decontamination area so that in the event in our community we have any type of a waste spill or somebody gets contaminated with hazardous chemicals or anything, they can be brought here for decontamination and treatment. A private room for that. Along with the new emergency department renovations, uh, renovations to the existing facility, we will have a new entrance to the hospital that will have private uh, canopies, uh, overhead canopies for patient uh, pickup and drop-offs, keeps everybody out of the weather. We'll have private registration rooms, so um, people will be able to go into a room and close the door, nobody will be able to hear. A separate waiting area for people with outpatient procedures, no longer will they be waiting in the same room as the emergency room patients. Uh, we're expanding our lab to be able to do a lot more tests here locally without sending the test out. That will enable us to be able to get results quicker uh, for the physicians to treat the patients uh, faster locally. We'll have an additional area for specialty care. Uh, right now our specialty clinic is booked full. We're going to be expanding that to additional specialty areas. So we'll be able to bring in additional specialists that will be able to to treat our patients locally instead of them having to drive out of town. And also additional parking. Those are the things we're working on in the future. In the last few months, we have purchased a new CT scanner, new digital mammography, two new ultrasound machines, new bone density machine, new EKG machines, new equipment in the surgery and scope areas, and a new teleradiology program that will give us reports, radiology reports in minutes and not hours. These are the things we're doing to support our community here at Macon County General Hospital. We don't have the kind of money to do this project in our bank account, no surprise to anybody. But we approached our local banks and the USDA and they agreed to provide the financing for this project. Um, I can't say enough about living in a community where you've got, you know, the financial institutions that support the members of their community like they have. The Citizen Bank and Macon Bank, we went to them, told them what we'd done, that we presented this to our board of directors. They had approved it, and it took them three days to say, we'll support you. 
that means a lot. So making bank, scissoring bank. And for the long-term financing, USDA went up and met with Chris Hampton and Jerry Jolly at their Cookville office, started the paperwork. They, they worked really hard, pushed it, um, got it approved by the state, and then it went to federal. And it takes a little while when it gets to Washington, but it, with their help, we have finally got everything in place. And for the long-term financing, we have USDA will be providing that. Sometimes a spark just takes a while to, to, to light a fire, and now you've got the fire lit, and good things will come. Basically, we're, we're a, a federal agency, and we're, we're a lending arm of the United States Department of Agriculture. And we were able to, to uh, very pleasurably provide $4,275,000 in low interest long-term loans to finance this project. And uh, with the support of the people that's looking at me right now, uh, we want to thank you because I, I know in part everyone here has something to say good about what this hospital is doing. Now we hear a lot of uh, hospitals in rural areas closing, you know, not only through the state of Tennessee but also the nation, but not here. You know, this basically shows that how strong this hospital is supported not only from the board, the administration, and the staff, but, but also by the, the community itself. And that key word that we've heard all day is support, and, and that's what makes this happen. I used to come in to Mr. Wolford, I know he, he will know this, that I've said something to him time and time again. You need to do something about your ER. You probably got one of the worst ERs around. But there's one thing that you always had, and that was the patient care. It was equal to and above anybody's that I ever went to and flew into and picked up patients. Uh, I know Tom Grubbs, a good friend of mine, just retired from Vanderbilt Life Flight. Tom's first flight, and he was just awarded uh, in 2014, I think over 6,000 flights, he was entered into the Tennessee Aviation Hall, uh, uh, in Tennessee Aviation Hall, uh, but uh, his first flight was from Macon County. But during the years, uh, Tom told me this, and I asked him about it the other night when I was at a meeting down there, and he said he picked up more post-arrest out of Macon County than anywhere they ever traveled. Now, for you that don't know what a post-arrest means, that means people had died and we got them back, and they got to fly them on down. But that tells you what Macon County is all about and the care that you get here in Macon County. We've been lucky to have this hospital. As Mayor Driver says, you don't realize what this hospital means, not only as an employer, 159 employers, employees in our county, as well as what it does for your economy and as far as us being able, Mayor Driver and I try to, every day to figure out how to get industry into this county. If you don't have a hospital, you are not going to get industry. So that is one thing that this community has to support. We've got to have our hospital. And I just want to say a thank you to the administration, to the board that's allowed this to happen, and to especially the employees and the physicians that work at this hospital and take care of the patients. They're the number one source of this hospital and they keep it going. Hospital officials say the total renovation cost is $5.1 million. After the official groundbreaking ceremony, construction will start soon on the project. Officials hope to have the expansion completed by September of next year. Reporting in Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.